Hi, welcome to another video. So today I have this uh, outdoor timer, indoor outdoor I guess, and uh, I'm just gonna go over it real quick. Uh, might open it up. It's got some. Oh, it's got some terrible uh, triangle screws inside. Uh, Try tip. We'll see if we can get it apart still. And uh, yeah, we'll just see how it works and see how much power it uses. That idle. Uh, you can see it's actually got an LCD in there. It's on right now, so that means it's got an internal battery for clocks. So even if the power goes out, the battery maintains. So that's good. Yeah, let's open it up. Let's see how wrapper rage the packaging is, and gone forever. All right, so here it is. It's got a pretty heavy-duty power cable on there. That's good. Um, no, uh, no specific safety. Uh, not this ever SA. I'm not sure what company that is. Um, made in China, 15 amps, 1850 watts. It says 10 amps for tungsten for some reason. Uh, doesn't make any sense. Tungsten would be a power factor one, so should be able to handle that, no problem. It's got an R. I don't know what that does. It's got a bunch of buttons. And yeah, let's plug it in. All right, so we can see um, it's got a miserably low power factor, uh, but that's expected for just a control device like this. It is using about 0.73 watts. Uh, so that's not too much of a surprise. We have an on time, an off time. It's, uh, we can looks like we can set those. Let's see if we can set the the time here. It said the on time was 6 p.m. So I'm going to set this to. Um, looks like it's got acceleration on the time too, so you can set it pretty fast. Let's set this to 5:59. So did you hear? Did you hear that? It's actually pretty hard to hear, but I'm going to bring that up to the mic. You can hear a relay clicking in there, but you actually don't see the power consumption change at all. So that means this has a uh, that means it should have a latching relay inside of it, and that's that's very good. That means um, this is going to have very low. You know, it's not using any extra power to turn that relay on. So that 0.7 watts is what it's going to use all the time. That's great. Uh, you can see inside there; it's got those tri. I don't know if you can see that or not. Probably can't see that. I'll have to take them apart and show you after. Um, the tri wing trip. Tri-wing screw tips, which are extra annoying, but um, all right. So I got my security bit kit here, and uh, just looking over this thing. And unfortunately, um, they made the bits smaller than the opening, so I don't think I can get in there. Uh, not easily, at least. I mean, I could drill it, but then I'm worried I'm going to break it, and I, I actually do want to use this thing. It turns out uh, it looks like it's going to meet my requirements, and in terms of functionality, it seems pretty good. Um, looking over the instructions, they don't seem too bad. Nice and short, which is good, because that means uh, you, know, you don't have to spend a whole day trying to read these things. It's uh, very intuitive to use, very easy to use. It's not an IoT device, so it is just the settings that are on here, but I really don't need that. I just want it to work and not have to think about it and not download an app or anything like that. So uh, this, this really meets the requirements uh, that I have and uses low power and um, can switch plenty of lights. So obviously uh, from the last video, when we did all those light tests. I'm, well, I'm installed a whole bunch of those now and, and uh, I want to turn them on and off. I don't want to think about it. <laughs> so yeah, uh, this is like a really high quality product. Uh, I definitely recommend um, recommend it for something. We'll see how it does in the long term. If it breaks, I'll definitely do a video about it. And at that point, we will drill out these holes and get inside this thing. Um, just that initial things we looked at, saying that it has a, a latching relay inside, is great. And um, you know, the two plugs on the bottom. Uh, nice heavy duty cord, so you're not worried about it getting over overheated or anything like that. Um, yeah, overall it seems like a, a really decent product. Uh, the only thing that's 
not so great is these special screws that make it so you can't get in there. I'm gonna have to buy some smaller, uh, smaller bits so that I can uh, take more things apart. I also noticed this kit is explicitly lacking uh, triangle screws too, so I'm gonna have to um, get another kit anyway because I have a product that's got some triangle screws in it, so I need uh, a little more or something to take apart. Anyway, thanks for watching. Like and subscribe.